Hi, my name is Miguel Guzman, and I'll be talking to you about our project, Chemical Processes. First, what is a chemical process? A chemical process is any activity where products are chemically reacted with each other to form new products. These reactions change the structure of the product rather than just mixing them together. Mixtures can be produced from these reactions, but a chemical change has occurred in one or more of the reactive materials. There are two classifications of processes, steady state and transient or unsteady state. A steady state process is, is where the process variables do not change with time. An unsteady state is where the process variables do change with time. So as we can see here, a batch would be considered a transient or unsteady state because it does not have a continuous flow and time is a factor that plays into this. A continuous process would be a steady state because there, the flow of the process is continuous. The general equation for a chemical process is input plus generation equals output plus consumption plus accumulation. The input is what is being entered into the chemical process. The generation is what is being generated or what is being applied through the process by a chemical reaction. The output is what is being produced by the chemical reaction. Consumption, consumption is what is being consumed by the chemical reaction. And accumulation is everything that has accumulated within the process. So the problem given to us is ammonia production. Nitrogen and hydrogen are fed into a, an ammonia plant along with an inert gas. The recycle stream containing these gases is combined with a fresh feed, which is then passed through a low single pass conversion reactor. The reactor output is fed to a cooler which brings the mixture to the condensation temperature of the ammonia product. The condenser removes the ammonia by liquefying it. Then the gas exiting the, con the condenser is split into two fractions with the same composition. One is removed as a spurge, as a purge stream, and the other as a recycle stream. So as we see here, N2, H2, and the inert gas I are combined and fed to a reactor. It is then cooled, passed through a condenser, and two streams go back. So we were given this information and, have, and we had to determine how algebraically the, comp the compositions of each stream of gas. So given the three inputs, the user... <clears throat> so given the three inputs the user will provide, we are to graph these solutions of ammonia production of which will produce moles of the ammonia produced the moles fed to the reactor and the fraction of overall nitrogen conversion. Once these plots are given, we are to then answer the question, what recommendations would you give in order to optimize the production of ammonia? And which of the three independent variables would we maximize and which would we minimize? And after that, we would find the utility cost of producing this ammonia given the heat of vaporization and the cost of cooling. So the problem statement for our code is we use 
mass and energy balance equations to generate various plots in order to graphically analyze an ammonia production process. Then we use these graphs to provide recommendations on how to optimize the system. So for test one, we have to create a user-defined function which will take the three inputs inputted by the user and output three different variables. We also created a diary which will allow the user to save their work. So we ask the user to enter the mole fraction of the inert gas in the fresh feed and the fractional conversion of the reactor and the fraction of the gas leaving the condenser in moles purge per moles total. These inputs will have to be entered in decimal form for the program to work. So when we call on the function ammonia, as you see here, through algebraic equations, we have found and was able to calculate N1 and N2. We fed the reactor, we fed the condenser, and we, we located or we found the purge stream and the recycle stream, as you can see here. So once all these, all these things are are f and uh, output is going to be shown in the command window. It's going to give us the moles of the recycle stream and the moles of the purge stream and the overall fractional conversion. So once we find these or once the program tells us these outputs, it is then going to plot them. And it's going to give us three different graphs. All related to NP, which is the moles of ammonia produced. Once we are given these three graphs in our next test, we're going to figure out how we have to, how or which ones do we need to optimize to get the most ammonia production. So when I run this, we 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 provided two test cases. First test case, which I'm going to show you right now, is the mole fraction of the inert gas is 4%. So in decimal form, that is 0 0.04. The fractional conversion of the reactor is 60%, which is 0 0.6. And the fraction of the gas leaving the condenser, which we said to be 20%, is 0.2. So once I do that, as you can see in the command window, the moles of the recycle stream is 1.62. The moles of the purge stream is 0.424 and the overall fractional conversion is 92. So our diary pops up and it's asking us if we would like to keep our ammonia production file. For this case, I'm going to choose yes. The pro our program also outputted three different graphs, all related to the ammonias, the production, the moles of ammonia produced. And as we can see here in our command window, we, we show you the relationships of each figure. So for figure one, the relationship between NP and YP is a negative slope that decreases the amount of ammonia produced as, y, as YP increases. For figure two, the relationship of NP and FSP is a positive slope that increases the amount of ammonia production as YP increases. And for figure three, we see that it's given a negative slope that decreases the amount of ammonia production. And also in our command window, we see that we formatted an output which tells us in order to optimize the ammonia production, 
the inputs are to be manipulated based on the graphs output it as YP increases the ammonia of production decreases as FSP increases the ammonia production follows the same relationship and increases as XI0 increases the ammonia production decreases from the graph recommendations can be made to maximize ammonia production to maximize the production of ammonia YP will be decreased as FSP increases and XI0 will decrease Decreasing the fraction of the inert gas will increase the amount of hydrogen and nitrogen in the feed stream and yield a higher ratio ammonia in the liquid stream. Increasing the fraction conversion of FSP will cause more ammonia to be produced in the reactor. Decreasing the fraction of the gas leaving, white, leaving will produce more ammonia. And also, we displayed our theoretical values which are given here so the moles of the recycle stream is 1 and the moles of the purge stream is 0.5 and the overall fraction conversion is 100 the code can also be used to run multiple multiple vectors at at the same time so for instance if we enter two different more fractions of the inert gas as and we also entered two two fractional conversions and two fractions of gas leaving the condenser In our formatted outputs, we would get two lines showing us each of these relationships with our different values and, our, and in our command window, we would get the two different moles in the recycle stream and the moles in the purge stream and the overall fraction conversion. So for test four, the user is asked to input different values or the same values plus an extra value that is the total molar inlet flow rate. Once the user inputs these values, the, the work will call on the function utility cost, which is given here, and it was used to calculate the cost of the ammonia the um, to the cost to condense the ammonia and the cost to cool the gases leaving the reactor so if the user inputs the values of of the mole fraction the fractional conversion and the the gas leaving the condenser and also the total molar inlet flow rate you get <coughs> the cost to cool the gases which is 1667 and the cost to condense the ammonia which is $1459.11 then a menu will pop up and will ask the user if they wish to enter different values so all in all our code has few limitations this our code is specific to a process with three species reacting and condensing to form one species with a recycle and purge stream. This code produces certain information about the stream and the user faces limitations in which they can input. The code will only accept scalar values in a, and a single line vector. The user cannot input values that are whole numbers. Only the fraction of the total moles is accepted as inputs. So why 
why make this code or why produce ammonia? Well, ammonia is used for many different cleaning products and chemical process is used to produce inorganic compounds that have applications in every aspect of the chemical industry. This includes catalysts, pigments, coatings, medicine, fuel, and agriculture. These products are used as basic chemicals for industrial processes. Well, an engineer, an engineer can use our code to, to calculate the amount of ammonia produced using the mole fraction of the inert gas and the fractional conversion and the fraction of the gas leaving the condenser 